To me, chocolate is like magic because their seeds are in the pod, they're pulpy, they cannot grow a chocolate tree and they taste not very good. And once they ferment it and turn it and dry it, then I get a hold of it. And I take that in, in, and turn it into liqueur. And when I turn it into liqueur or liquor as we call it, uh, that's when it's a liquid chocolate. Then the magic is how I blend that with the other ingredients and the spices Hi, my name is Steve Prickett. I'm a craft chocolate maker. My company is Eldora Chocolate. The quick version of what is the process is we take that raw bean and we, we roast it in a roaster to not only reduce the moisture in it, but also to bring out the natural flavors. At that point, after we roast it, we separate the hull from the inside nib or the chocolate nib. And there's many ways to do that. We can crack the bean open, we can grind the bean, and that's called a winnowing. At that point, we're left with the nib. That's just the chocolate itself. The nib itself is about 50% chocolate and 50% cocoa butter. You can't see it, it just looks chocolatey. But that is the raw start of the process at that point. So we take the nib and then we, we put it into a, a, a drum that has a couple of rollers in it. We call it a concher. And it smashes the nib into fine particles. At the same time, it generates heat. The heat essentially melts the nib into what we call liquor or liquid liquid chocolate. At that point we grind it for quite a while, anywhere from, from 12 to, to 36 hours. And from there we uh, take it take it off the concher. I call it racking off the, from the concher. Then we temper it. Temper is just it's a process that we use to make the chocolate hard so it has a good snap to it when it's done. And so we temper it and we put it into molds, we pour it into the various uh, bar molds. And um, at, at that point, we put it in the, in the refrigerator until it comes out and, and we have a chocolate bar that uh, is good for anywhere from six to 12 months in terms of uh, its uh, shelf life. 